Hello and happy Friday everyone. Um, I wanted to do a live video today talking about how I'm handling my own type of um, accountability lately. Um, over the course of the last few months, um, like certainly like healthy habits have been <laughs> more than just a thing, but it's not like I've been derailed. I just know that you know over the course of the summer, I can't even say I've slacked off, but there's just a few things that I know that I could do a little bit better with. Um, and so after doing a little bit of thinking, you know, especially, you know, realizing that, hey, my weight loss has kind of slowed up a little bit, like, I could be doing better, I'm not gaining, but I'm not really losing either. And I know some of it is just the fact that I'm busy. I'm running two businesses. Um, business one, of course, Music Room is gearing up for hopefully like the busiest September now and, you know, since pre-pandemic. So, you know, there's a lot of prep work going into that. And then, of course, the ongoing uh, program development here through PAVE, the ongoing marketing, keeping up with everything that I want to share with all of you with these posts and everything. So there's a lot to do. And yeah, certainly some, some of that's to blame, but not really a whole ton. So, you know, after doing some thinking, um, I realized that there's just two things that I know I could do better with. That's it. Just two. That's not a whole ton. But I know that those two things are the two things that are keeping me from getting to my goals quicker. Those two things are drinking. <laughs> Don't drink a ton, but my body type is the type of body type that can't drink anything if I need to lose weight. I don't know, something changed, maybe maybe just because I'm getting older, I don't know, it's just something in my chemistry has changed that I can no longer drink red wine every day and expect to lose weight. That used to be a thing. A few years ago, that worked. That no longer works. I cannot drink even one shot and expect to lose any weight, okay? So, that has to go. Maybe I'll permit myself a drink maybe once a week or something like that, but nope, otherwise, has to go. Second thing is... I do not lose weight well unless I track. I have to track everything. If I track, maybe I'll behave a little bit better, but I am account I'm holding myself accountable to making sure that I'm keeping on top of my portions, that I'm keeping on top of, you know, the different types of foods that I eat. That if I'm going to snack on chocolate chips at night that I got to count to exactly 33 because that's the serving size. You know, little things like that because it's all those little things that that add up. And if it adds up just enough, you're not going to lose anything, all right? So, Basically, what I did is I developed and kind of actually redeveloped um, an old plan that worked for a while. Something to include just those two things because I'm good otherwise. Like, I'm doing my exercising, I am eating healthy meals, I'm sort of meal prepping. Things are good otherwise. So, I developed last week this. <laughs> it's this like handwritten little calendar. Because if it's anything fancier than that, it's going to take up too much time. And if it takes up too much time, I may not do it. Okay? So right now, here, the way that I'm talking is I'm talking in ways that I know um, recognizes my own behavior, the ways that I know I'm going to behave, the ways that I know that I'm going to react when faced with a something that I have to do every day. I have to keep it simple and fast and easy to remember because, like, my short-term memory is not great. <laughs> so, so it's two things that I'm holding myself accountable for. No alcohol and making sure I track on the Fitbit app. All right, so how is that working? So if I write it down, I am writing it down. It's not only going to help me remember, it's there on this little calendar right there in front of my face, here at like the table I eat most of my meals. It's something that's a constant reminder. Oh, and then it'll encourage me to track right after I eat too, even before I get up. Okay, so then it's over, done with, and I don't have to try to remember it for the rest of the day. Awesome, okay. So it's set up in a place where I'm going to remember it, that it's going to encourage me to do more now, less later, like, like the tracking, making sure that task is done. And it's staring me in the face at a time where I might be actually preparing meals and deciding what to eat and how much. Okay? So just by keeping it in this place with a pen next to it, it's going to encourage me to actually follow it. Alright, so I'm writing it down. Now, what is the incentive? What am I working towards? Well, duh, getting like my final weight goal hopefully ever. <laughs> but it's so much more than that too. 
I have to make sure I am earning something. Long-term goals have to have a something in the future that you are working towards, okay? And I've tried this before with other things, and sometimes it just hasn't worked. You know, I've bought an outfit that was a size too small because that's all they had and hung it up, you know, in front of the closet just to stare me in the face and make me feel horrible about myself. That didn't work. <laughs> all right. But what I did was I, I put some thought into this, and I was like, okay, I want to treat myself to something. I'm going to treat myself to something that's encouraging self-care. Something to make me look forward to taking a little bit of time off from the long work weeks. Um, you know, it's something that I can redeem like on a day off or a partial day off or something like that. Like maybe a Friday or something. I don't teach at the store on Fridays. I do pay for work on Fridays, but you know, after so much time of working towards this goal, I would have earned like a half day off. So what am I going to do on that day off? What would be good for me? Well, the last time I had a massage was before pandemic. Okay, so I was like, all right, here's the amount for that. Okay, we'll put that on the list. Okay, what else would I want? Ooh, I want to have sushi lunch at Kumo because I haven't done that in like years and I like it there and it's close by and I kind of have always wanted to have this hankering of just eating out at a restaurant by myself. I want to see what that's like. Okay, we'll put that on the list. All right, I'll budget at least 20 bucks, maybe maybe 30. I don't know. I might want to budget it a little bit for a generous tip, generous tip and make somebody's day. Um... Also, let's see here. What else? What else do I want? Ooh, a bakery item. Because baked goods are like the worst. But that's not a healthy habit. But wait. If in this time that it takes to earn this amount to pay for my my afternoon to myself, maybe maybe I will reward myself. I'll make it this coveted award that I'm thinking about for three months. One that... I passed a bakery today, and I was like, I really, really want something. It's a day off. I earned this. I worked so hard, and I was so good this weekend. I was like, nope, because ordering a bakery item is on my incentive list here. There's a bakery, a cute little bakery, like, walking distance from where I live. It's called The Geekery. It's, like, geeky-themed baked goods. It's amazing. <laughs> this person is a genius who opened it. It's only been there, like, a year or two, or a couple years, yeah. So, like, I want a bakery item from there. Okay. We'll budget a few dollars for that. It's going on the list. It's right there. It's on the list. It says in my terrible chicken scrawl bakery item. It's, there we go. Bakery item. Okay. All right. So that means I can't get one because I have to earn it. Right there. It says it. Okay. See, I'm getting into my mind. This is how I think. And then the last thing is, all right, well, shows are happening again. Um, I'm preparing for like a big performance on September 11th over at Music is Art. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. But I could always use more costuming stuff. And there's definitely some stuff on bellydance.com that I, like, look at. And I'm like, oh, I really, really want to spend the money on this. But I don't have a show that I need it for. It costs, okay, $20. All right, I'll budget $20. And I'll put that on my incentive list. So basically, when all is said and done, I have $100 that I'm going to spend on myself for earning... Um, for earning a little bit each day by doing the two things that I need to do for healthy habits. So, here, I'll sum all that up in language that, I, that everybody can understand. So, the rest of this is a calendar, right? So, for each day that I both do not drink and do all my tracking, I earn a dollar. Or, like, if I do one and not the other, it's 50 cents. But, like, ideally, I want that dollar. That dollar is going to go into, like, a gift bag, for each dollar, I get closer to that $100 goal. I reach that $100 goal, well, then I make that massage appointment and I designate what day all this is going to take place. So that way, like, I can really psych myself up for it. And, see, I'm the type that, like, has all these, like, great plans for things that would be, like, awesome for me. And then I just don't do them. So, like, sometimes I just feel like I've... I don't deserve it. I don't know. I think I think a lot of us get that way. We're just like we forego it and we're like, oh, I'll save it for a rainy day. Like, I guess it's like that type of mentality. For me, it's more like, nah, I could be using this time to get some work done. You know, it's like I'll push it off that way. But essentially that behavior isn't really that good for you because even though maybe you have worked hard, you're not allowing yourself that break. See, 
I'm tapping into that mentality too, because by allowing myself the approximately, you know, three months, you know, a little bit more than three months to earn this, you know, it's in my, it's in my site. It's already working. I haven't even been doing this for that long and it's already reflecting my decisions. Um, you know, I, I won't bother to get a massage unless I know I've earned it. Like that is something like I know I need to like, you know, it's something that I know in the past that I've pushed off and pushed off and pushed off, but it's good for my shoulders. You know, I should get it done. Um, so, all right. So let's designate that thing. What a great self-care reward, you know? Um, and then like the bakery item will be the one unhealthy thing about it. And it's just a bakery item. It's not like a cheat day. It's not a cheat week. It's not a, let me allow myself to get off track for a while. No, it's one item. I can definitely be okay with that. And then, um, you know, the sushi lunch is, like, something I've been thinking about anyways. So, like, all right, so I've earned this package deal that I've created for myself. And now, like, if I'm faced with, oh, but, like, look at those bakery items over there. They look, they look so good. No. I'm going to earn it. It's going to be after I've earned my $100 towards me. And then it'll taste all the sweeter and all the better because I have earned it. And in the meantime, for over three months, I'm going to be working my hardest to get to that point. Okay? So, this exercise today was basically a think aloud to see, to get into my own mind, to see how I think, how I behave, how I react, what drives me, um, how to get it on paper and actually make it look like something that's making myself accountable, to keep track, um, putting a reward in it actually thinking about what that reward is, something, you know, that is going to jive with, like, my mentality. And, yeah, when I get there, I will follow through. And, ideally, I want to get there soon, because who doesn't want all that stuff, right? <laughs> okay, so, um, I just wanted you to, uh, see, uh, basically take you through, like, my whole thought process with it. And as you're trying to stick with your healthy habits as well, or your goals for yourself, you know, kind of take yourself through a similar process of, okay, what's going to make me stick with it? What's going to be a good, healthy reward or a reward that's good for me? You know, what's going to drive me? What's going to be the type of process and reward that will affect my daily decisions to decide in favor of what this whole program is about, okay? Like I said, I literally passed that bakery that I want to get a thing from, like, today, and I really wanted to stop because they were open and see what they had and get myself something. And I didn't because I thought about this. Okay, so it's working. The process is working. And I've already earned some money towards it. So, okay, so think about some of these ideas. Hopefully it's uh, giving you a little bit of inspiration or some, you know, some ideas on how you can do it for yourself. Um, I also wanted to include um, a couple other things as well. Um, the webinar that I did last week, I'm actually going to be rebroadcasting um, for some people that couldn't make it. Um, and um, actually some new people um, in my audience that uh, probably, actually, well, some people already registered for it so that are from the new audience that I got from the vendor fair. So I'm actually going to be rebroadcasting re it again this Sunday at 7.30. So if you go into my profile, the link is, is there. It's the same link as before, actually, and in yesterday's post, I actually did repost it. So, like, uh, you know, feel free to click on that. It's free. Uh, it's titled The Five Step or Five Keys to, uh, bleh, I know what I'm talking about, Five Keys to Sustainable Weight Loss. <laughs> I have, like, a number of titles in my head right now. There's, like, other ideas floating around in there. So, yes, Five Keys <laughs> <laughs> sustainable weight loss. That's what we're going with. That's that's the topic um, that I'll be broadcasting for free on Sunday. So feel free to join me and I will be able to answer any questions that you have if you're there in real time. And I should be able to email a replay. I've never had to do that in Zoom before. So like hopefully all that works out okay. And if you do miss it, um, there should be a recording that I uh, should be able to send you anyways. But one way or another, you have to register to get that. Okay. And what else? What else? There was another announcement I had for today, too. Oh, yeah. I have a big surprise that I'll be announcing. Another surprise, I should say. I keep launching all, all this work that I've done. I now can actually, like, tell people about it. Um, but that's going to happen soon. Uh, maybe that is it for right now. Right? Okay. All right. Well, I will let you know. We'll let you go then. Um, but yeah, if you if you are interested in that webinar, which you know, why not? It's free. Uh, go ahead and sign up. 
and I will see you the next time I see you. Have a good Friday, everyone.